All right, let's look at this graph, the orange graph, which notice it's a linear function, but then there's a hole in it. So, um, and, and the function value of 2, let me ask that question first. What's f of 2? What's the function value at 2? Well, if you look at, here's how you find function values. You go to the, to the x value, which is 2 here, and you draw a vertical line until it hits the graph. And wherever it hits the graph, that's the function value. Can it hit the graph in two places? No. No, because then it wouldn't be a function. function. Remember the vertical line test. Yeah. So if it hits the graph right here, what's the function value? Uh, one. It's 1. f of 2 equals 1. But what's the limit as x goes to 2? Here's what that means. Limit means what would you expect the function value to be if you were going toward the graph. So I'm going to jump on the graph, a little uh, magic school bus. From the left, what would I expect as I get closer and closer and closer to 2, what would I expect the function value to be? 3. I would expect it to be 3. How about from the right? As I get closer and closer to 2 from the right, the x value gets closer and closer to 2, right? Getting closer and closer, what would I expect the function value to be? 3. 3. So what is the limit as x goes to 2? 3. What? That's what limit is. But I thought it... Well, that graph's a little different.